In EMS, we have so many pockets. What do we need to actually carry? What did I carry my first day as a paramedic? Here we go. Hey everyone, Evan the Paramedic Coach here. Smash that like button down below, hit subscribe, and let's get into this EDC. It's everyday carry day in this video. I'm gonna show you exactly what was in my pockets the first day I was a brand new cleared licensed paramedic. Here we go. Now in EMS or uniform, we have two front pockets here in our chest. Then we have two side pockets here. Then we obviously have our pants pockets, like a normal pair of pants and two back pockets. So I utilize the two front pockets and the two side pockets. The first left chest pocket, here we go. Got a few things here I'd carry. Now, a few, a few odd ones I'm gonna share with you, okay? So first is a pen. I'm gonna have a pen and a notepad to actually write down patient information. So that's our first piece. We'll place it to the side. Next, I would have an O2 wrench. So if we don't have an O2 wrench, we cannot change the spare auction. So I would always make sure no matter what, I don't care what's on the auction or what was, I always have one on me, you never know. And I highly recommend this, by the way. Next was a pen light. So I could do a proper pupil exam, every patient, every time, pupil exam. Now here's the one that you might find interesting, okay? A needle, <laughs> decompression needle, I would carry in this pocket right here on my left chest, literally. Every shift, there'd be these four items in my left chest pocket. You never know when you come up on a call, maybe you're in a trauma. <laughs> you got the only compression. I have it in my pocket ready. I know you find that one funny. Now, some interesting other things that were in my ch uh, chest pocket here. With the needle decompression, this is something very interesting that I've never shared before publicly. I would actually carry this piece of plastic right here. And I actually still have this piece of plastic right here. I never had the chance, thankfully I never needed to use this piece of plastic. Not the most sterile event, right? But just in case I would carry this piece of plastic right here on my right chest pocket. And on the left would be right here, the needle decompression. So I was always ready for the events, right? One thing I don't have here is tape, but I would always have tape there as well. Okay, so we put that over here. Now here's the interesting thing. Okay, I've only shared this with my inner circle and uh, students inside my course. This is a pediatric dosing card. Now obviously as paramedics, we're expected to know the pediatric dose of all the medications. And yes, I knew them cold. I mean, man, I was drilled uh, during my paramedic precepting, but I would always carry this card right here with all, this is the exact card, by the way, that I have. This pediatric card right here, of all the doses that I would carry, and I would stick it like, fold it like this, and I put it right here in my pocket. I would also on this card, I have the Scarboza criteria for 12 week EKGs written here. Now, did, here's a question. Did I ever need to use this extra one in my pocket? Thankfully, I never need to use the extra one in my pocket, but I always had it. Did I ever use this card? Yes. I used to, you know, when you're in the heat of the moment, trying to remember the Scarboza criteria, I would take the card out, I'd put it literally underneath like this, underneath the EKG, 12 would come out, and I'd scan it and just, without thinking, doom, 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 and look at Scarboza criteria. Now, P doses, I never, I know, I knew them cold, so I didn't really need to pull it out, but it was good to have and it gave me confidence. If I was ever on a critical pediatric call, I had this. Now let's go over now to the left, uh, left leg pocket. So here, gloves, ton of gloves, okay? And now we all know what's going on in the world at the moment and what's happened in EMS over the last 18 months. Regardless of that fact, we're talking about this, uh, everything we have here. We're talking about my first day as a paramedic, which goes all the way back 2013, 2014 era. Even then, without exception, I have one here, but I would carry two. One for me, one for my partner in case they forgot, okay? If you notice, a lot of these items have to do with what happens if we're caught off guard. We didn't know this was gonna happen. Right? This is what my idea was with the strategy. I always carry two N85s in my left pocket, one for me, one for my partner, if we got off guard. The next thing I would carry in that same pocket would be right here. Okay? So we have some, some wraps here. Okay, that would be also in that pocket. Now we go to the right 
leg pocket. Now, shears, okay? These are X shears. These are the, literally the best shears I've ever used. So X shear, shout out to you. And then we have here, I'm gonna roll over. Lock and flush. IVs. Now you're saying, Evan, you have one of each. I would. I would carry one of each in my pocket. So I'd have an 18, a 20, and a 22, in case we had a hard stick. Two tourniquets, two tegaderms, and two alcohol preps. I would also have tape in that pocket, two, one tape here, one tape here. Now I wanna hear from you. I want you to go in the comments down below. Let me know what's your everyday carry. What do you carry as an EMT, advanced EMT, paramedic, firefighter? Let me know down below in the comments, what do you carry? Maybe one of these items, maybe it got you to think a little more, say, you know what, I'm gonna add that. Or that's a good idea, or you know what, I wouldn't have done that, I would have done this differently. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you are someone who is getting ready for school, maybe it's EMT, advanced EMT, paramedic, you're in school now, or you're getting ready for national registry exams, the first link in the description down below is my life's work, my video study course. You get access to our 420 videos, plus access to me and our private student group to ask me questions. First link in the description, my friends, I will see you there. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.